Right you guys, got another video here for you on how to back up photos and videos on your iPhone and Android. Now we're going to be using the Western Digital app which comes uh, with the Western Digital My Cloud Home uh, piece of hardware here. Now this is basically a hard drive in some sort of unit which you can put on your uh, network and uh, put all your movies and videos and stuff like that on there and uh, watch it with Plex and things like that. But what we're going to be using it for is to back up our phone automatically to that device and I'll show you how to do it. So first go to the Play Store or if you're on an iPhone you can use that method to download the same application. And we're going to search for uh, the Western Digital MyCloud app and uh, there's MyCloud and there's also MyCloud Home. This is a MyCloud Home device so I'm going to click on the MyCloud Home application and we're going to go ahead and install that onto this phone. It's 52 megabytes in size as you can see here so just let that download. Now once we've got this downloaded the uh, backup uh, process is super simple but it's a great way of backing up all your photos and videos and things like that from your phone to your little home network so it's not going to be on the cloud so it's in your home uh, cloud server really which is a lot safer in my opinion so we're going to open up the app and we're going to get the uh, terms and conditions so just agree to those now you will need to create an account I've already got an account set up uh, for my uh, my cloud home and I'm going to now put those details in so I'm just going to log in you just need to put in your password and your email and you should be able to log on to here now it's going to ask you to turn on automatic backup I would advise you to do this because it makes it a lot easier but I'll show you how to do it manually first and then I'll show you how to do the auto backup afterwards so you can see you can see the movies and stuff like that on my home uh, server so what I'm going to do here is go to here and go to phone photos now you can create your own uh, personal folders here I've already got one created so I'm just going to go into here if you want to create a folder you can just click on add something here so now you can see there's nothing inside this uh, folder yet but what we're going to do here is going to add something inside here so we can uh, copy all our data across so let's go back into there and click add something you can see it is create folder take a photo or upload photos or videos so we're going to do upload photos and videos you have to give it access to the photos and media on your phone and I'm just going to show you free photos here manually now you have to select them manually yourself select all and you have to go through each uh, day here to select all the photos to uh, back them up but I'm just going to do free photos here just to show you and then I'll show you the automatic backup which is a lot easier so if you want to do it manually you can select which uh, types of photos you want to upload to your server so let's go back now and I'll show you how to set up that automatic backup for your phone so go to the little three lines which is your hamburger menu and then you can see here you should see the automatic backup push that slider across and click allow this will give you the menu system here to allow all the internal storage to be backed up on that phone you can see DCIM which is your photos and DCIM screenshots you've got your downloads folder and any sort of cameras or security camera software on there it will allow you to back up all those photos you can see all these locations here these are my security cameras that I've had on this phone now, there's also uh, any other areas that you want to get like WhatsApp WhatsApp images and videos animated GIFs and you can also uh, do your removable storage now I'm not going to do removable storage because I'm just going to drag that across but you can do it on here if you wish um, so it just depends on uh, how you want to back yours up but you can do the whole uh, phone uh, data on there and back that up if you want as you can see here now once you've selected all the areas that you want to back up you can then go back to the main menu so what I'm going to do here is just going to check through here to make sure I've got all the areas selected that I want to back up on this phone and this mainly is for my videos and photos I'm going to hit the back button and you can now see a red dot on the menu system click on that and this is where your phone will start to sync with your Western Digital uh, My Cloud Home so just let that sync and once that's synced it will start to copy all those files across 
and you can see here it's synced and now the files are starting to be copied across to uh, my cloud home uh, server basically and uh, that's as quick and simple as that now that is how you can do a manual backup and also uh, how you can do an automatic backup of all your videos and photos on your phone to your Western Digital MyCloud home server. Now let's just take a quick look at the Western Digital MyCloud home on the uh, computer here so we can see. Once I log into here you'll see there is a folder called Samsung and that's because the phone I'm backing up is a Samsung and it will copy all my photos and videos over to that folder which makes it super easy to find. So that's basically how you can back up all your videos and photos from uh, an Android phone or even an iPhone if you want to to uh, your MyCloud home server. Now you could get access to these anywhere around the world and you can share them with your family and friends. You can also put movies on there, use Plex on there. It's a really useful piece of hardware. Anyway, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a great weekend and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.